Acer. Haven't seen this guy for a little while. I mean, haven't seen an Acer brand come in for repairs. Let's see what we can do. R14. It's an interesting model. Similar to X360s and the Dell Twin One and Lenovo Yoga. And this guy, what's the issue? Power button, nothing. Let's get the recharger. So they provided a genuine Acer charger. Okay, here we go. And nothing. Let's have a look on the on this guy. Our meter, multimeter, voltage mode. And what do we get on the charger itself? Yes, a beautiful 19 volts. It doesn't want to turn on. Hopefully it's something simple. So let's have a look. This one will require to be disassembled. Let's go. Okay, one sec. Okay, let's have a look. What's happening so far? Let's take this cover off. Okay. Battery. Three, four, all cells have expanded slightly. Disconnect the battery. Obvious inspections. Where is the battery connecting to? Okay, the battery is disconnected. And the power button is this one here. I believe, let me see. Yeah, and the other two are volume buttons. Let's bring the charger and see the behavior. Gee, look at these two guys. Okay, unfortunately there's an internal problem. Okay. Uh, so DC check comes here. See if there is any voltage being read. We're in DC mode, good. Okay. Oh gee, okay, decided to turn on by itself. I think that's it, okay. Alright, that's connected. Press the power button again. Yep, it's on. 
Oh, LED status is there. Okay, this one just had a frozen BIOS, I guess. Okay, this one too, we'll get the password and we'll do a BIOS update. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll get the password and we'll do a BIOS update. Be right back. Okay, so this one is the Acer. Let's finish the um, firmware update. We've been given a password to use. Okay. Okay, so we're in. Uh, I can't show you the screen, obviously, but we're going to now attempt to. <coughs> wow, that's a very, very beautiful screen. Wallpaper, in fact. Okay, system information. Okay. Okay, 2017 is the... BIOS version. We're gonna go and update that. Okay, uh, password manager, not interested, okay. Well, I cannot use, okay, here we go. Uh, new private window, okay, so support. So this one is R five four seven one T. 
Okay, bios. Okay, we're reading 1.14 from 2018. August 7 is the latest one. Let's go ahead. Okay, it says cannot run on battery power. I thought I connected the charger. Shish, I didn't. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to do the update now. From 1.12 to 1.14. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, beautiful. Mm. Completed. All right, system is back in, and let me verify the bio, so log in. Great, so now it's running on 1.14, 2018, great. Now we're going to do something else, uh, which is check the battery health. The user says the battery does not last like it used to. Okay, for that we're going to use um, Nearsoft Battery Info View. Okay, let's see what he says about the battery health. Oh, battery health. Okay, this is not good. Um, basically, uh, it's kind of dead. Yeah. Okay, so it's only got about 64, 65% of its original battery life. Okay. Okay, no problemo. 
battery name is AC414B3K. Okay, let's see if it picks up the correct model. AC14B3K. Okay. Okay. Let's delete. Our downloads. Shut the computer down. By the way, that I Omega is getting really, really hot. Okay. I wonder that's what one of the issues is with the machine. Okay. We're doing data recovery on that. Still not progressed yet. Oh, and there we go. It's a found the exact same model. Yeah. Okay, okay. That explains a lot. We'll take a photo of that. The client will understand. Wonderful. All the cables are back, everything's in, and CMOS battery back in. That's good. So, this one can be packed up and sent back to its home and in a working condition. Then, the client will decide what to do in terms of the battery. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.